Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here. Got none. Um, we got BOE today. Jobless claims. It's the 7th of May. Darian's been figure 30. Bit of risk on in Asia. Not really sure why. Just kind of floating around. Gold's come off a bit. A um, little bit more talk from Trump about China, but nothing too serious. Um, not too much news about Va uh, vaccines or anything. I think, you know, the market's just floating around a little bit, uh, waiting to get its footing. 2,000 deaths in, in uh, the States in the last 24 hours. I think we're up to 73,000. So kind of status quo on the news side and the story side. Uh, price is just kind of floating around. Euro yen, a little bit higher. What are we going to do today? Um, let's look at Euro. This trend line's of interest. You can put this on the four hours if you want. Comes in uh, at 60 today. So first time it's a buy there at 60. Although I have to say that people that I talk to that are Sort of big picture asset managers are all very, very nervous about the euro. Um, they're watching the price of the European banks, Sockchen, Commerce, Deutsche. Um, and even though everyone keeps saying that the banks are fine, they're well capitalized, if they're so well capitalized, um, why are their share prices at the all time lows? So, got to keep this in mind. You see Euro Swiss people keep testing the SNB. Obviously, um, Euro dollar is not doing too too much. You can see sort of in the big big picture here. One oh six fifty the low. We'll call one one ten fifty the high, and we're here we are at one oh eight. So we're kind of in the middle here, but Let's keep an eye on things and, and look both ways. You know, we everyone knows I'm bearish dollars. I think QE is going to trump everything. Um, but let's see how she goes here. Uh, this will be a first. This will be an interesting test down here. 107.60. Cable got thrashed yesterday, uh, which was fine. Short sterling yen worked out. We got BOE today. The bank research says that um, they're going to increase QE, I think 200 billion to 300 billion. This obviously is not super um, positive for any currency. But in this day and age where releases don't mean as much, I'm not sure if we're going how much of a kick we're going to get, how much of this is now priced in. Um, we'll be watching this it, it's basically you know they're going to be dovish they have to be dovish it's just a question of how dovish boe today uh right around lunchtime so be aware for that dollar swiss very very low vol not doing too much looks like we're going to attack this uh, 98 the figure area here this is going to coincide with 107.60 through 98, there's going to be some stops. We now have four highs up here, so you got to be careful. Um, you do not want to fade this on the tactical book today. First time in a while I'll be saying that. Because as we get closer to 98, um, obviously the stops will attract and, and it'll probably pop through. Do you want to break trade dollar Swiss through 98 to figure? Not sure. Maybe. If we didn't have uh, such strong core views about lower dollar, we definitely would be. So you have to decide for yourself. 
dollar yen here not doing much still weak a little bit of a bounce last night should be should be resistance between 30 and 50 still uh, golden week time so not a lot going on euro yen punked got down to 42 a little double bottom there on the hourlies um, this should retrace but it's, it's not but it, it should boons are lower the spread between boons and BTPs is not going crazy we should see some sort of retracement maybe today but no dog in this fight sterling in we're square again this is a resell up at that uh, 132 area if we get up there dollars are the usual you want to sell czar um, maybe buy some dollars between uh, 1855 and 45 today story has not changed there Aussie's squeezing a bit we we traded down to 80 now we're squeezing higher we're in the middle of the range not doing anything here we're sellers at 6490 uh, not doing anything at 6417 cad don't feel like it gold sort of testing the lower bounds here is it going to break down through this pennant looks like it is through 80 should yield I don't know a move down to 50 uh, through 67 again so it should yield a move down to 50 if there's exaggeration it, it goes 16 figure 10 um, let's keep an eye on gold very hard to trade but we're going to try and scoop some up scoop some low ones up if we get down there boons turned we did not we did not get short boons like we normally would on the 174 handle this looks weak and by all accounts it's supply driven so the number of boons that are need to be sold for the coronavirus uh, support system is creating some supply issues so you know yesterday all of the European fixed income was lower boons BTPs oats all of them uh, so this is just a, I think a supply story you can sell boons I don't know maybe between 50 and 80 today uh, you want to sell some boons crude pretty bid not quite at that 26 and a quarter area um, but still pretty bid you can begin to do something like this even though it's two contracts um, that's kind of an interesting line although we talk about how technicals don't really work in, in oil but um, we've come a long way and demand hasn't fully changed. The demand sort of structure problems haven't fully changed. Maybe this is worth a sell. Twenty-three fifty is 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 the line. Finally, BTPs crushed yesterday. We took our shorts back too early. Today we're going to sell uh, sort of the high one thirty sixes. So one thirty six eighty five, one thirty seven ten sell some BTPs all right not a lot going on uh, as far as new trades in the tactical book um, we're gonna keep it pretty quiet wait for BOE wait for these markets to stretch themselves a little bit uh, and it'll be a quiet open for us here wish you guys a good trading day ahead remember if you like what you hear click these buttons and the the uh, the like buttons and be sure to subscribe and all that uh, all that malarkey. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow. Ciao.